Okay, Wednesday, 13th of March, 2024. So, what to do if you have a lot of ambition? A lot of ambition. Well, one of the answers I say is, you're in the wrong place. So, back in July 2018, I spent one or two weeks, I really can't remember how long, in South Spain, in Marbella, in the sun. It was my first time being in Spain for a long time, probably since 2000, 2001, something like that. And really taking in the city, the place, the town, Estepona, Marbella, the place, the people, the atmosphere, the sun, whatever else, the weather, you name it. Nice. As I was landing, I remember this very vaguely, very explicitly even, as I was landing back in England in the airport, we were above the clouds and it was really nice and sunny. I thought, this is nice. It's just like in Spain still. We go below, <laughs> below the clouds and there was like someone put a filter over everything I see, like a grey filter. And I thought, oh my God, this is England. Now, this is just the, the look of it, the, the appearance of it, the weather. It doesn't mean anything really. But I then thought to myself, if your ambition is too big for the place, you're in the wrong place. I felt at that point my ambition was too big for where I was. And I thought, right, well, you need to go somewhere else. Go abroad, different city, different part of the country, continent, world, you name it. <clears throat> One thing I noticed from that experience, that little sublime experience, was if your ambition is too big, you're in the wrong place. Fast forward maybe to probably July 2021. I was um, driving around Scotland. And I took a little stop in uh, Glasgow to meet a friend of mine. And I was discussing one or two things and discussing about like my skills and ambition. Whereas like my skills were towards education, but my ambition was to be like you know, big and rich and do amazing cool stuff. Like I want that. I don't want to be stuck along this. But over time, I realized that actually these two things are not actually the opposite. They're the same. So through humility, I was able to realize that my ambition and my skills are not completely separate things. There are ways, it takes time and research and planning and imagination, of course, there are ways to combine the two. So you take your ambition and you combine it with your current talents. For example, I can speak Spanish, so I can use that and I am using it in my business, in education, to teach and have Spanish-speaking clients. Perfect. I'm just using my current skill set that I have and current scenario in life chapter in life, so to speak, and combining it with my ambition that leads to this end result, which is what my ambition wants. Fair enough. Now, in the wrong place. Okay. Now, now, there are countless places to live in the world, any country, continent, you name it, culture, climate, whatever. We want to know where we are best treated, go where you treated best. Famous saying by Nomad Capitalist, which I really do like, go where you treated best. But also go where you're celebrated. Go where people want to know, like, and they want to know you. They want to like you. They want to trust you, you know, where you can go there and build rapport quite easily. Because in these places, you'll find that the people would have more similar goals and attitudes and priorities to you, in a way. But certainly, different cities, different countries even, have different attitudes, different priorities. My experience when I was in Poland, and the people, the atmosphere and everything else was different from when I was in Spain. And I've heard that in places like LA, I don't truly know, but this is what I've heard, there's a big sense of um, collaboration with you know social media and content creation, whatever else. So if your ambition is too big, you want to find ways of combining your skill and then taking taking humility and combining it with your um, ambition, but also going where you're treated best. Again, that's from Nomad Capitalist, Andrew Henderson. I really like that quote. Go where you're treated best. I felt for a good while that going to Marbella would be a good idea. I've not been there since, oh, wow, June, uh, two, July, okay, 2008. 2019, I think, 19, I think, I think, 2019, September, I believe, September 19, I believe. But I thought that place would be good. But over time, I've done research and planning and, and realised and learnt more things. And I think, well, actually, over there has potential. And so does over there, not just over here. But I didn't realise that just through, I didn't realise that until I did 
research, sometimes thinking and planning and strategizing, strategizing, being tactical, being specific, where I want to go, what kind of lifestyle do I want that can fulfill that ambition, that can feed that ambition, as opposed to just being empty and unfulfilled. Where can I go that's going, where can I go to be treated best? Well, you have to figure this out. And you can figure that out through online social media, YouTube, the countless things, or going to, go to the places, but that takes time and energy. So, you know, you understand. But still, with the ambition, you might want to consider in the wrong place. That's what I felt when I first came back into England in 2018. It was like a grey filter, and I thought, ah, if your ambition's too big, you're in the wrong place. If, if, you, if, if, you, if you feel not, not necessarily restrained, but like this is too small for me, it's too... too um, I want to say colloquial, too provincial, too slow paced, maybe in the wrong place, possible. And take humility. It's worth import it's worth understanding in life that humility is damn important. Humility in retrospective, looking at your mistakes and your victories in the past and analyzing them. What did you do right and what did you do wrong? What could have gone wrong? What could be improved? And being humble to realize what can you improve? What can you do in the future? Then we can make make um, corrections and have a better better future, better life. That's the idea, and being critical of what we want and don't want don't want. So those two things I'd say: you're in the wrong place and be humble. Yeah, but otherwise, you will see me tomorrow. <laughs>